Okay. <coughs> I got these from MC4. They're to do to zip tie these up to the rails. And then you've got to put a boot over the top of the two connectors. Right. I got these from the local electrical shop. Now they're the ones that you need to use for the main rails. If you haven't got them and you try and put these together, you're going to have a lot of problems. They slip and they go all the way to the top and then you've wasted two of them. So just get yourself a couple of them. I can't remember what size they are. I think I've got a bag down the bottom. I'll try and link it in. And this is the bottom. That's the bottom bit and it comes off the red, red wire. So where's my red wire? Red wire should be somewhere here. This is the red. So once it goes down through the hole, it's red. So it's your bottom. I've got a pin up here. Okay, this is my final panel. I've already thrown the conduit on. It took me probably, I would say, no more than 10 seconds. I've got to zip tie it and put a bit of tape on it. But it's a lot quicker than doing it on the roof. So if you haven't put them up on the roof, do it down on the ground before you even think about it because the only thing you have to do is put a 30 about 32 mil over that and just tape it on and that's about it so yeah do the stuff on the ground if i had a thought about it at the time i would have done that and um yeah i'm just going to zip tie that finish it off get it on the roof i've got a heap of heap more work to do um yeah it's so i brought that down through there from the top and I'm going to show you the top of it and show you how I've strapped it up. From under here you can't really see the strapping. I haven't hooked up all the panels yet because I've been waiting for the conduit, the larger stuff which I've got downstairs now. I haven't hooked it up yet and the wiring looks a lot different now than what it did before so it's all strapped up in here. I don't know whether you can see that and underneath there you only see a couple that aren't hooked up but they're all strapped up underneath the, the panels and yeah so i've really spent a fair bit of time on that so and make it look really good and use metal ties when when i could and should and even the earth rails they've all been redone because i've noticed that the earths on the older ones they don't work properly they've got a dissimilar metal corrosion happening on them and so the earth isn't very good so it needs to be redone like um it's not a very good earth anyway but it is a earth and that's how they do it um, i might need to put something on the end of that to finish it off but yeah the top earth is perfect so I'm really happy with that. I wonder if you can just see that if I go in closer. You probably can't. I'll see if I can get it in closer. But yeah, I should be able to have this finished soon on top of the roof. I haven't got right into it. I have been doing some stuff with Home Assistant, which will be coming up soon, and a way of putting, um, setting up a server real quick. And that will be in a later version so that I can actually get the video right. This doesn't look right. I might have to play with that a little bit. That's only because of the um, dissimilar heights. I've got an earth underneath it. So, yeah, I might fix that up. But, yeah, the guy that um, said to me to wash me panels, I did. I washed me rails and everything. Look at the dust. So, yeah, we get a lot of dust here. We're close to a... A lot of building and a lot of dust because it's Australia and we haven't had any rain for a while no couple of weeks so yeah it gets very hot and the lights going down outside so yeah see you on the next one and I uh, hope you're all having a great day catch ya